<coughs> hey guys, it's DCG, back for another video, and this one coincides with the other one that I made pertaining to Broward County Public Schools and the issues that I have been having with Cross Creek School. However, I'm going to continue to read you some of the emails and stuff that I have sent to staff based on um, things that are going on and things that I don't necessarily agree with. Now, <coughs> I'm going to give you guys the background history or the background knowledge of what's going on in this um, um, <clears throat> this time frame right now. Like, what is happening in my life right now? So, I get it in. For, I get a um, DM on Instagram from a child that goes to this school that says, um, "You fake as fuck. I swear you is," and. I respond, how am I fake to someone I have no loyalty to? Now, um, <clears throat> you know, how? You know, and then she says, bet, bye. So, with the laughing emoji and the deuces sign. So, I'm, you know, a little bit, I'm confused, you know, what's going on? So, anyways, um... Here I am, you know, going through my DMs, like I was saying, whatever, and then she goes on to say, oh, you in trouble because so-and-so sent me and the other individual the pics that you sent her, and um, and so-and-so has told, and then, so she, quote-unquote, put me on the block list or whatever, so how you put me on the block list but yet here you are still responding to what I'm saying so um and I and I responded and I said that's a threat so what we're go um so what you've so that's where you've gone wrong plus it's not my fault that y'all's pictures are floating around anyways shouldn't shouldn't have taken them in, in the first place and that individual is the least of my worries blank is the least of my worries. So, basically, I'm going to give you a little backstory here. So, uh, a while back, um, nudes were sent to me. Now, everybody sends me their nudes. I don't know why, but they sent me these nudes, and I just so happened to be on, you know, FaceTime with this individual, and I was like, oh my god, look what was just sent to me. So, I showed them. I picked up my phone, and I showed them, you know, because I have two phones. I, sh I held one phone up to the phone that I was on FaceTime with the individual, and I was like, look. And they're like, I can't really see it. Send it to me. So, I sent it. Whatever. Now, no, you know, no real thought went into this. I'm like, oh my god, look what was just sent to me, you know. It wasn't done out of malicious or or spite, whatever. It was just done because I, I you know, I couldn't believe what I was looking at. I was like, are you serious? So... Um, then they go back and tell, they go back and tell that, that individual that I was on FaceTime with goes back and tells the two that, you know, um, that I have pictures of their nudes or whatever. And it was a picture of, you know, their full body naked, whatever, and vaginas and what have you. So I'm like, okay, whatever, you know, it, it doesn't really affect me because they were sent to me. So what am I supposed to do with shit that was sent to me? You know, um, you know, don't send me shit if you don't want me to, you know, send it out. So the whole point was, you know, I don't know exactly, you know, what you want me to do. So I sent the principal and everybody and all the staff at the school an email that said, so last night I had a conversation with that uh, this individual, We're, we'll just call her Brittany. I had, a, I had a conversation with Brittany over video chat, and I recently received photos of um, Jamie and Melinda, that's what we're going to call them, of their private parts. Now, Brittany had asked to see them, and I questioned her as to why, but she wouldn't give me a straight answer, and she only proceeded to get more and more angry through my line of questioning, so I just sent them to shut her up. You know you have those moments when it's like, oh, you're flaw, da-da-da-da, you won't send them to me, blah-blah-blah, I'm, I'm not your friend, blah-blah, I didn't want to hear all that, so I just sent them. And not really thinking about what I'm doing is technically committing a crime, I wasn't really thinking through what I was doing. Now, uh, and then, then I went on to say in the email, I said, now she went and she used those same photos and told, um, um, she told those two individuals and have, 
have t and have taken on uh, that they the pictures that they have taken on purpose to arouse others and to use to use them against both of them. Now I have received just minutes ago a message from one of the girls that states threats of violence, which is which if that's what they want, that's the mistake that they are going to that they're going to have to make for being whores, whatever. So I said I, I will have no problem battling them head on. However, she made threats and I will um, defend myself in any way possible if anything comes at me physically. So be prepared for an episode of How to Get Away with Murder. Um, I'll send you the photos of that child and I's conversation on Instagram just now. Also, she used hate speech. Um, um, she she used hate speech in one of the comments as she does on a repeated basis, and and I will be wanting to press charges on that. So I basically, you know, told them this is what's going on, whatever. And um, then I went on to say um, because she kept sending stuff, so it's like. I was reading it at that point and really not responding it, just responding to it. So I said, this is another message that I received just now at 12.42 um, p.m. Okay, so I sent, you know, sent them a screenshot, whatever, on Instagram from so-and-so. No, um, um, no response on my end. I, I simply ignored it because I honestly don't care that much because I... Um, because I'm clearing myself and letting y'all know in advance what I am going to do, um, which will reflect very badly on the school because I am going to be doing it publicly. I am letting you guys have the time to get a handle on this while you guys can be, be before Cross Creek School becomes headline news. And I will send as, as much as I receive. Thanks. Now, um... That, I know that may have sounded like I was threatening the school, whatever, but I really wasn't because I reached out to Channel 7 News and um, Local 10 News for this area of South Florida. So I'm really going to bring this to my attention. And it's not like this issue is like needs to be broadcasted. The issue that needs to be broadcasted is people should not be in the K through 12. There should be no such thing as a K through 12 facility when these kids are are proven to be mentally and 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 emotionally unstable basically. So that's where I draw the line. That's where this is causing an issue because these kids are overly emotional about this stuff. I have nothing to do with this. Was it wrong for me to show the other girl what I had received? Yeah, absolutely. I can admit that. However, I really didn't do anything wrong. All I was like, look, you know, whatever. She took it among herself to go show the two individuals. So it's really, I, I take no responsibility for that, and I really don't care. Because they have done nothing but disrespect me, bully me, tell me things that, you know, try to boss me around, try, you know. So they've done nothing but disrespect me. So for me to feel bad about what they're going through, that would kind of seem a little silly because they brought this on themselves. Y'all do nothing but disrespect me and I'm supposed to care about keeping your sacred pictures when they get sent to me? Not gonna happen. So I could care less. So I um, reached out to Channel 7 first, and Channel 7 was actually the first person to respond, and they asked me, can you please tell me a, a, um, the gist of what the issue is so I could reroute this email to the proper department? <laughs> and I responded, and I said, Broward County Public Schools has K-12 through facilities that cause harm and damage, as I've experienced being a part of a facility with mentally disabled kids and kids that are emotionally uh um, you know, disabled. Um, a middle school child was raped last year, which is the same child that I'm speaking of that likes to take pictures of her private parts and send them out, um, by a high school child last year, um, because they had access to one another while on the same campus, okay? They snuck off campus together and they went to go have sex, or they didn't plan to have sex, but she was raped. So, um, I think there should be there should be different campuses for these students, especially separated by the age level, so that these issues do not occur. I have I have emailed the superintendent of Broward County Schools, which was in the other e with which in the which was in the other video that I posted, and contacted the Office of Service Quality, and 
met with an official over 10 times and no one can answer my questions as to why they put K through 12 in a, a special kind of alternative school. You don't do that because this is evidence that it doesn't work. Um, I am a student at one of the schools that I am referring to, which is Cross Creek School in Pompano. So, you know, I sent that to her thinking, okay, she's probably not going to respond, but she did respond and she said, okay, I will re reroute this to our investigative unit. Thanks again. So, that, you know, that was the email, and, you know, I was, you know, very, you know, proud of what I did. Like, I don't care. Um, if it gets the school in trouble, I could care less. So, um, quickly, quickly, quickly going through all these emails because it is quite a bit. Now, then I came back and I, and I emailed everybody that was on the first email again, and I said, I just called the police and they are coming, and I am filing a police report on both of those individuals because, number one, it's threat, and number two, it's, uh, it's, it's hate crime calling me all kinds of names and what have you. So, you, um, you know, you can press charges on me for doing what I did, but I can easily turn around and press the same charges back on you for what you did. Um, and I understand that the way this goes, you, charges can be pressed both ways, and that's okay. And I'm probably going to be taking the most heat because I'm an adult. However, um, it, you know, my, my words still stand. If you didn't want this heat, then you should have kept your private parts to yourself. I don't understand what the need for sending nudes is um what kind of a rouse it gets out of people i really don't know because nudes really don't do anything for me but um for other individuals i guess they really do strike a chord with people that people really like that stuff and people you know like it and from a young child from a 13 year old that you know she was she was 13 when she got raped or 12 or no she was 13 when she got raped and now you hear she's about to turn 15 whatever not a whole lot of time has passed, and you still haven't learned your lesson sending your, your pussy out to for, for people to look at. Sending, you know, all your personal business out there. Don't put your stuff out there. You know, keep yourself closed up and exposed. And it's not just the one girl, it's both of them that take pictures of their body to try to arouse the people in the school because they don't go to a regular school, so they can't, you know, have boyfriends and girlfriends normally like you know, the, the other students do in mainstream schools, they have to try to arouse these different kind of Cross Creek students that have issues just like them. So they do this and they put their business out there, which I don't necessarily understand. Like, I don't know how many times I have to say that. I don't know what the fun is in putting your business out there to the world. So I have pictures of their, their, their pussy and boobs and everything. You know, they just put their business out there and... Um, it's so funny that your pictures end up in the wrong hands. Okay, somebody that you've done nothing but disrespect for the last three years, somebody you've done nothing but bully and um, repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly mess with me, make fun of me, whatever, and you think that I'm going to turn around and be gracious enough to say, you know what, I think I should delete these and move on. You know, even though initially I didn't do it as spite, you know, I didn't do it to cause any harm or issue, when I thought back on it, I go, why do I care all this much if they're upset about, number one, the mistake that they made by taking those photos in the first place, which you're never supposed to do that, and on top of that, people that have caused me so much grief and have me crying at night based off of their disrespect and how they treat me and, and what they say about me, and I'm, you know, going out of my way to make sure that their, their feelings are protected... No, it doesn't work that way. I don't care. You know, what goes around comes around, and that's the way that I'm looking at this. So then I, you know, sent another email to everybody that was on that first one, which was all the administration at the school, plus the behavior specialist and the guidance director. You know, a lot of people, I'm making sure that all the key people understand what is going on here. And I sent, and this one is a little more harsh, so forgive me if you thought I was a nice person, but I'm not. Um, so... <clears throat> So, I, and I said, so I called the police around 1 p.m., and they came out and they spoke to me. Now, they didn't really say too much other than they think that it's incredibly stupid for a K-12 through um, to, to be together on the campus with no real separation whatsoever. You know, the police did mention that, you know, why is that even a thing when these are the worst kids in the entire county? In Broward County, we are the worst kids, apparently. So why do you put them all in the same like what do you expect to go down um he did mention that so 
Then I went on to say, he did say, if this is an, a reoccurring event, which it is, real rules and guidelines need to be put in place as far as the age gaps are concerned. Maybe even an assembly about the, the three age groups <clears throat> um, should not be communicating. Yes, I understand there is no real way to keep us from communicating. However, there is a disciplinary solution um, that y'all could put in place to prevent it. Like ICE for ICE for 22 checks. Now, ICE is um, internal suspension. ICE as in isolation from the rest of the school, out in a portable, by yourself, all day long with the teacher, with the internal suspension teacher. So I said that there could be ICE for 22 checks or suspension externally. I know it seems like a jump or too far a stretch for y'all who claim to know what's best for us, but I do think it is worth a shot. So... This shit doesn't happen anymore. And yeah, I did. I did say it just like that, and I don't care. However, I do admit where I have gone wrong in telling this individual about what was sent to me in the first place. But if it was a rule or carved in stone that the age that the age crossing isn't allowed, guaranteed I would have I would have or I wouldn't have even been speaking to, to her in the first place. Um, we're not even friends, but I, I think it's great payback for all those disrespectful things that both of those individuals have done to me in an attempt to bully or harass me. For I have spoken up about such times, and nothing has been done. I feel the school on, on a whole is weak, um, in executing behavior and that's why no one moves on or gets mainstreamed too often now mainstreaming is when you do good like cross creek school is not for you to be there forever it's not designed for that you're supposed to do good do your work go to class do what you're supposed to do like in regular school as if it were a regular school and then they send you back to whoever sent you so i i was sent from coral glade so if i did good they would either part-time mainstream me which means i would go to to Coral Glades High for part of the day and then go back to Cross Creek or they would full time and they would get rid of you completely and they say you no longer belong here. So this is not a permanent thing. You know how alternative schools work and if they work differently in another state, this is how they work here in Florida. Anyways, um, again, and then I continued and I said again, there are more people coming in than they are going out. It's supposed to be a ref it's supposed to be a revolving door, and I have told the behavior specialist this several times, and I'm speaking to her directly almost, but everybody else is on the email too. Um, <clears throat> that is a reflection on y'all's skills to maintain and keep the kids on the right track, and and uh, you know a weak administration. I'm sorry. I love the administration. I love the principal. I love the assistant principal. But they are weak. And they need to realize that if they don't put their foot down, they will be ruining a lot of what these kids have going for them. And these kids will never have the opportunity to mainstream because they don't have things put in place where these kids can actually act right and act accordingly. Yes, do they have therapists on campus? Yes, on calls with therapists. And, you know, the, you can go talk to your therapist if you, you get upset. You know, you you know your therapist can be your motivational tool. They have all these behavior incentive things where if you behave, you get to go to McDonald's, you get to do all these things. That's clearly not working because there's still more people coming in than going out. Um, okay, uh, and then I said, I've been told when we have, uh, um, when we had our previous principal, which was a man, by the way, not to say that women are not strong, but he was a man, he was a, ooh, you know, um, everything was a-okay, and in ship shape, but because we have a different style in our chair now, everyone has, has taken, taken short of the goal, you know, um, I believe just because Stern has a different approach, that doesn't mean that the school shouldn't have such 
or, or sh should have such a freedom. Now, the school used to be so structured. Like, the principal used to line people up around the cafeteria and stuff. You weren't allowed to be caught in the hallway or, you know, bad things were going to happen. You know, when you walked out of area, you were in big trouble, you know, because the principal did not play any games. Now, it's like a free-for-all. It's like a jungle. Everybody can do what they want. The students run the school, you know. That's not the way any facility needs to be run, especially not this kind of facility where no other school in America and no other team of staff from any other school in America could do what these individuals do at this particular facility. There is not another one and I have visited several schools like this throughout the United States of America, especially those Georgia facilities. They ain't got nothing on these Florida facilities. This is bad here. And these people, that you got to be a special kind of person to be doing this job and these are the special people that are doing this job and they are doing it okay, but they could be doing it better. Now, the school has a sense of freedom and that kind of vibe, I said. So, letting the kids run wild and do anything and everything and, and look at what kind of stuff takes place. When y'all wake up and realize that what you guys are doing is not effective, maybe then we can move forward and get people and and the age groups where they need to be academically and behaviorally. You you may not share my opinion, and that's fine, but you know I'm right. Dot, dot, dot. I always am. Let me, let me sit down in, in y'all's board meetings and or principals meetings and see how fast taking my approach and strapping these kids down by their ankles will really do wonders for this school. That, that has nothing but chaos and a jungle that is nothing but chaos in a jungle the last few years since Stern's presidency shall we call it um I, I love I love you all but I mean business and I hope that that is clear here and now you know that old saying mother knows best well Dennis knows best I'm sick and tired of not seeing anything change. I will be emailing the superintendent separately from this. More, more than likely, I will be, um, um, I, I, I will be coming today as, 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 as well. This has gone, this has, this has gone too far. Um, more than likely, I will be. Mm, I don't know what I what I meant to say in that last sentence, but you know they'll they'll get the gist. Uh, you know I'm not really thinking too hard about it right now, but because um, I really really like my mind is um, all over the place right now. However, I just realized I made a mistake. But I'm human again. I make mistakes, and they're human, and they make mistakes, and I get that. But come on, guys, you guys can do better. So um, uh, I don't you know, really have anything else to say, but I'm just letting you guys in to um, what really goes on with me and how remarkable I am to be dealing with what I deal with every single day, and I'm still able to run my business effectively, I'm still able to go out in the community and do things, I'm still at the clubs, I'm still hosting things, I'm still doing promotions, I still do private appearances, um, I still go to all my drag shows, I still do everything, I still work, even though all of this is happening around me. That is proof that anybody can do anything as long as they put their mind to it. Nothing is too much for you. It, it, it's only too much for you when you don't want to do it. Um, Yoda from Star Wars would say, there is no try. It's either you do or you don't. And I'm doing. And I hope that y'all do with me too. And support me doing what. I feel this community and this world needs it, and that's change. So, like I always say, stay perfectly imperfect, and I'll see you in the next video.